hey guys welcome back to my channel ag motion designs and in today's video we are going to learn how to create this behance logo reveal animation inside of after effects without using any third party plugin but with the help of adobe photoshop and adobe after effects and if you want to learn more about logo animation and in-depth tutorials then don't forget to check out my udemy course of logo animation link is available in the description and if you're new to this channel then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell Here we are in Adobe Photoshop first. I have this Behance logo. You can easily get this file from Google. Otherwise, I'll provide the link of this Photoshop file in the description also so you can download it and practice it along with them. Now, over here, what we don't want over here is this blue color. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to choose select and I'm going to choose color range. And with the help of this picker, I'll click this blue color and fuzziness. I'm going to all up to 200 and simply hit OK then we have to delete so now uh, we don't have this blue color and now i want each and everything should be on the separated layer so i'm going to press m on my keyboard to select my rectangle selection tool and i'll select this b alphabet i'll hit ctrl x uh, cut to cut create new layer and press ctrl shift v to paste in place and i'll hide this similarly i'll follow this procedure for this e i'll ctrl x new layer press ctrl shift v and hide this I'll follow this procedure for all of this alphabet so because of this we will get each and every alphabet or separated layer I'm going to do this procedure a little bit faster so we can complete this tutorial a little bit early like this okay so now each and every alphabet is on separated layer so I'll save this file then we'll go to the after effects and we will create the static animation of our reveal so let's create a new composition over here and we are going to name it as main animation width i'm going to choose 1920 and height i'm going to choose 180 frame rate is 30 and duration we don't want much more so i'm going to stick with the 30 second duration would be good and background color is white and simply hit ok then go to choose green and guide option and simply hit on titles affection now press ctrl n again to create another composition and width i'm going to choose 560 height 560 and simply hit ok then select our ellipse tool and go to the fill and choose solid color hit ok and choose bluish color and double click to create one ellipse now select this ellipse, press S for scaling option, initial scale should be 0, create one keyframe, zoom in a little bit, go to around 1 second and let's make this 25. Then after 20 frame forward, let's decrease this size again, go few frame forward, again increase this size and then at last let's make this size 0. Let's move this keyframe over here. So if you see this animation, we will get something like this. Now select those keyframes and hit F9 to easily those keyframes. Go to the graph editor, right click and you choose edit speed graph. And now select this handle by holding shift. I'll move this handle over here. Select this and move this handle over here. So we'll get this kind of animation. Then select these two handles by holding shift. Move one handle over here and one handle over here. Sorry, select this and move one handle over here like this. Also select this two, select this handle, holding shift, move this handle over here and this handle over here like this. Now select this, hold shift, move this handle over here and this handle over here. So if you see, we will get this animation first and then something like this. Okay, then at this point, if you see over here, this circle is going outward. So we don't want that. So select this and let's make this scale 100 okay so if you see this animation we will get something like this and also enable the motion blur. now let's press ctrl k and we are going to call it as uh, others and hit ok now select this others and hit ctrl d to duplicate it double click to open this and in this copy at last instead of zero i'm going to make this scale 50 just like this okay 
now hit control k and we are going to name it as main then go to the main animation crop and bring this main over here then bring others and bring this others downwards like this now at this point we need to do certain adjustments so i'll select this main i'll lock this layer i'll select this others and i'll press t for opacity and let's make this opacity 50 and select this and move this other over here and this anchor point of this layer should touch this portion okay like this and if you want to be specific then go inside this others and make sure that you are properly at one second which means at this keyframe and go over here and make sure that uh, your anchor point should touch this edge of this B. then select this uh, and press s for scaling option and let's make this scale 80 like this select this uh, and again hit ctrl d select this third layer and let's move this over here and make sure to touch this anchor point over here again and press s uh, and let's make the scale 60 like this okay so if you see this animation we will get something like this now what we are going to do again we will go to the one second over here we will select this uh, and we will select both the layers and we will hit ctrl d and we will move them over here and let's bring those layers downwards let's move one layer over here it should touch the second point select this fifth layer and it should touch this point okay now we need to create masking for each and every one so select the second layer select your rectangle selection tool over here and we are going to create mask which should touch the edge of this ellipse select this third layer again create mask which should touch the layer uh, this ellipse select this layer select mask and make mask like this select this fifth layer create mask like this okay and hit you then press t select all of them and let's increase the opacity so we will get this kind of animation now i want their animation to be one by one so i'll go to the five frames press v i'll select this layer at this layer and let's move this over here then go to 10 frames select this layer at this layer and let's move this over here okay like this so if you see this animation we will get something like this now let's go to the bait and select this last layer and let's move this keyframe a little bit forward okay then at this point i'll select this bait i'll press p for position let's create one keyframe that go a few frame forward let's move this over here like this and then uh, at six seconds this should go from here to here now select those keyframes and hit f9 like this now right click go to the keyframe interpolation instead of auto bezier choose auto linear and hit ok go to the graph select this two points by holding shift move one, sorry only select this point move this over here and this over here so we will get this and then select this by holding shift move this handle over here and this handle over here So we will get something like this so if you see we will get first this and then this now we have to do some adjustments now select all the other layers and press ctrl shift c and let's call it as one select this hit ctrl d press r for rotation and we can rotate it like this and let's make this proper 90 degree rotation like this like this then select both the layers and hit ctrl d and let's bring them downwards and press ctrl shift c and let's call it as 2 and hit ok press r for rotation and let's make this 45 degree press s for scaling option and scale it somewhere around like this so if you see this animation now 
we will get something like this okay now over here we need to do certain things uh, so let's do that now press ctrl i to import our photoshop file i'll select my photoshop file uh, import as footage composition return layers and sizes and simply hit import and hit ok and double click to open this now we will select all of these layers uh, over here and before we uh, import, move this to animation portion if you see the color of these layers is white so we don't want that so for what we can do we can select these layers go to the effected presets panel search for fill effect to apply on it and change the color of this word to bluish one like this okay i think this much looks good then select this fill effect hit ctrl c select all of these layers and simply hit ctrl e okay so let's check out this animation over here we have something like this that from this point we want our logo reveal but before that we need to place our logo properly at the center so let's also enable this motion blur for each and every one okay that uh, we will select our logo layers so select all of them hit ctrl c go to the main animation hit ctrl v okay let's go somewhere around over here now the logo is misplaced so let's break this properly at the center like this then right click do and create one null object select all of this ps layers and make it apparent to this null one select this null one press s and scale it like this okay now i want the animation for them so now we will focus on this animation only so let's break them at the top and now we don't need that null object so i'll delete that null object and i'll hide all of this uh, extra layers uh, of animation just for now because we want to focus on this layer things only so let's select all of them and press p and uh, let's select their position by holding control i'm going to select the position of each and every one like this right click and choose separate dimension for each and every one then create one keyframe at x and one keyframe at y then go to around one second create one keyframe at x and one keyframe at y again and at this point i'm going to move this over here move the x position of each and every one over here and y position of each and every one over here like this okay just like this then go to the middle option and uh, over here i'm going to move this uh, y position over here like this so if you see we will get something like this okay so now uh, after that we need to adjust the graph editor okay so after doing this uh, we will select uh, all of this y position keyframes only uh, but before that uh, if you see we will get this kind of animation then go few frame forward again create one keyframe at y position and in middle of that let's bring this layer a little bit upward so if you see we will get we are trying to achieve one kind of bouncing and pop-up animation and, and initially the scale should be zero so press s create one keyframe hit u again go to around one second create another keyframe at the start scale should be zero so we will get something like this now along with that i want rotation animation also so press r for rotation create one keyframe hit u go to the one second and let's make this uh, one complete rotation so along with this we will get rotation animation also now i want to animate uh, only scaling animation so let's select all of them press s for scaling animation uh, select all press s so we can see only scaling keyframe select those scaling keyframes and hit f9 like this go to the graph editor select the scaling and by holding shift move this handle over here so we'll get something like this then press r for rotation select those rotation keyframes and hit f9 so we will get this kind of i think we don't need to apply a rotation keyframe easy ease out we will stick to this only now the main portion we need to add just y position so in search option i'll type y position oh, sorry only y so i can see only y keyframes select all the y key position keyframes and hit f9 so we will get this kind of curves then go to the graph editor and select this middle graph by holding shift move this handle over here select this move this handle over here 
select this move this handle over here and select this and move this handle over here so we will get something like this and in middle of that select this move this handle over here this handle over here select this shift this to this point and shift this to this point so if you see we will get this kind of animation so now hit u so we can see all the keyframes and duration is quite long for them so we will do one thing we will select all of those keyframes and by holding alt i can reduce this duration up to one second only so we'll get something like this and simply select all of them and enable their motion blur and now i'm going to move them all of over here and let's enable our shape layers over here and now let's see how we can animate them so after all of this uh, animation uh let's move this over here now uh let's break this over here uh and now we need to them to be animated from this point so i'll select this move this over here it page down button one to two times so select this c with the help of open uh, square bracket we will shift this layer again hit page down button two times select this and move this over here and we will follow this procedure for all of them just like this so if you see you will get this kind of review so if i see i'll get this animation first then something like this and if you want you can simply select all of them and you can move them a little bit early also just like this and uh, let's go to the one or others over here in others as you guys can see we will get this kind of stuff so uh, suppose if you want to add a little bit depth in it so you can go to this other comp you can select this and you can hit ctrl d to duplicate it then press s and make sure uh, to right click do and create one null object select this shape layer let's make it apparent with this null select this null press s and let's decrease the size and select this second layer and choose white color so after doing that what will happen you will get a little bit of different results over here so this is also one approach you can do for this animation and to add a little bit of uh, extra exaggeration uh, you can select the shape layer and you can move this a little bit forward so what will happen along with this you will get a little bit of extra animation portion over here like this okay so this is just uh, extra stuff if you want you can skip that portion also then press ctrl y to create with solid background and let's move this at the backward just like this So uh, we will get this kind of stuff. Yep. Then select all of these layers. Press Ctrl Shift C, and we are going to name it as Animation, and hit OK. And right click, go to the uh, layer styles, choose Bevel Emboss. Go to the Bevel Emboss. Increase the softness to 100. Increase the size also. And instead of black color, I'm going to choose somewhere around this kind of bluish color. Okay so we will get this kind of effect and even if you see you will get this kind of stuff over here but if you see you will get uh, difficulty in, i mean a little bit of different results so what you can do you can decrease the opacity of this one at this point okay and then you can select this you can go to the effect and presets panel and search for drop shadow effect uh, sorry select this apply drop shadow effect and increase the uh, distance to let's say 10 increase the softness to 100 like this and opacity to 20 and for the color choose this color only okay so you will get something like this and animation is ending at this point so this is going to be my final point so i'll hit it over here so okay so this is how you can create this kind of Bihar's logo reveal animation.